Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from Fanta Flora Brewing Company out of Nebo, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Stingray Shuffle. See there? Um, and this is a double India Pale Ale fermented with local strawberries and double dry hop with Equinot, um, Homolin, and Meridian. And I, I don't even know that I've even heard of Meridian hops before. That's interesting. Um, but I'm definitely familiar with uh, Hallmullen and Equinot. And it is 8.8 .8 ABV. It says, brewed in collaboration with our good friend Marco of, of Unseen Creatures of Miami, Florida. So Unseen Creatures is a is brewing and blending in Miami. So it's a collaboration with type brewery. Um, which I actually did not know that until I saw this can. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So I don't I honestly don't know if I've had I've probably had like one of those milkshake IPAs or something like that that has strawberries in it. But it was probably with a bunch of other crap. I don't think I've just had like a regular IPA with strawberries before, so it should be interesting. Um, I wonder, because sometimes strawberries impart a strange flavor in um, in sour beers. Sometimes it has like that um, plasticky, like poopy diaper type character, and I'm hoping that doesn't come off in this. But I think that's some sort of reaction between the. Um, Either lactobacillus or Britannomyces in the strawberry. So, I mean, that wouldn't be in this. So, we'll see. As you can see, it pours a... Um, almost in a really dark, rusty orange. Almost an amber color. Obviously, it's... I'm guessing... That deeper, darker color is uh, from the, sh the strawberries. Because it is kind of bordering on, uh, like, reddish pink, too. With... A really minimal white head. So I definitely get the strawberries, uh, for sure, but it's, I get the strawberries and there's definitely some like generic, uh, citrusy notes, which I'm guessing is from the hops, uh, <clears throat> and I'm smelling a little bit of booze too, but that's about it. really interesting um i i i would really really like to try this beer without the strawberry i'll start out saying that um because it's somewhat sweet and i i don't know i'm guessing that's from the strawberry and that's not part of the base beer because pretty much every ipa i've had from them has actually been like pretty pretty dry uh But, I'm assuming the strawberries were added, like, as a dry hop type thing, and they, after it was mostly fermented, and the, the strawberries didn't ferment out. Um, that's why it's sweeter. I had... I did have a little splash of this in a flight that I had at Fauna Flora. And I wasn't a big fan of it, but it was like a really small pour. Uh, so I, I wanted to get a can to give it a better chance. And this is significantly better than I thought that was going to be. Um, it, it's really odd. Like it, I don't even know. I don't even know how I would describe this. Like I, if I was describing what this beer was i would say it's like a an imperial strawberry ale like a dry hopped imperial strawberry ale more than a double ipa with strawberries if that makes any sense 
the strawberry character is is definitely bigger than the hop notes um i think the hop note like i think the hops are just playing a role of uh keeping it from being too sweet and uh, drying it out a little bit but they're definitely not the predominant flavor excuse me um but it's definitely the beer itself is not like super bitter but it's sweeter than I was expecting, and it's kind of sweet for an IPA, but it's not, like, sweet, sweet. Uh, I don't know that I would want to drink this every day, but it's definitely a very unique beer. Um, and I'm glad that I tried it, and th I'm glad that they made it. It's, I don't know, it's just different than, than most um, fruited IPAs. I will say the one really good thing about it, like the strawberry character, and I wouldn't expect anything less from these guys because they're <clears throat> all about local ingredients and auth authenticity. Um, I don't know why I said local, that really doesn't matter, but they're all about authenticity. The strawberry character is very, very real, fresh strawberry taste. It's not artificial at all. Um, it's not... Like, the beer itself is kind of sweet, but it's not like an artificial sweet, sweetener, strawberry taste. Um, it, it's just really unique overall. I would say it's a really nice, like, stronger strawberry beer with, uh, with some nice hop bitterness. And I will, that's the other thing. Like, the body itself has a good amount of heft. So that's where I would guess that it is stronger in alcohol, but I a I still would pro wouldn't probably guess that this is almost nine percent, and b, um, sorry I I lost my train of thought. I was just thinking, I I would not guess that it's that strong. Um, oh yeah, well, I wouldn't guess that it's that strong based on flavor, but I also. I'm not getting any, um, like, hot burn in the throat, uh, <clears throat> either, so, this is definitely one that I could see myself or anybody, for that matter, um, slinging these back way too fast, um, because they do go down easy for an almost 9% beer. I will say, you know, these guys are not afraid to do experiments, and sometimes, from my opinion, they don't work. Um, they usually do, and that's why they're such a good brewery, but sometimes they don't. But I, I respect them for trying, because usually, um, in theory, they should work... Uh, but even, usually the ones that I don't like are the, just the ones that have all the botanicals and stuff in it, because that's really not my thing. But they're not poorly made beers. I just don't like the weird spices and stuff, but I know a lot of people really do, so. But they, some other ones, like they did, they've done IPAs with, um, like turmeric and, uh, weird spices like that, and they've been really good, so you never know. Um, but I, I like their experimentation, and they really have a skill for being able to taste the things that are added in it but none of them are ever heavy-handed where it's just too much and that's all you taste and it's overpowering um and th that is a <clears throat> to me that's more of a skill of uh tasting rather than the actual brewing process itself but I guess, you know, if, you, if you're heavy-handed with something and you add too much, then you're screwed and you have to dump it. So I'm guessing they're doing testing in, like, really small batches and then building it up and making something bigger. But it is a testament to um, their palate to make something really balanced where you can actually taste all the stuff that's in it, but none of it's overpowering. Um, but yeah, back to this beer. I would, I would say that I would buy this again. Um... You know, if I wanted like a super juicy, hazy IPA, I'm not going to go for this, but it's a really unique beer and I could see wanting to drink this again. I, I, I like it. I, I'm a big fan. As far as fruits in beers, um, strawberry is one of my favorite for sure. Um, I would say blackberry and like peach and apricot are probably my favorite, but 
strawberry spray after that. Um, and I think they did a really good job of incorporating it in this, but not... Like I said, you can definitely taste the strawberry, and it's probably even more than the hops, but it's not a dominant flavor, and it's not artificial at all, so it just, it just works. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.